Hey, what's going on guys? It's Zant here, and welcome to another episode of Editing Quick Tips, where I'll show you something that'll make your life as an editor easier in three minutes or less. In today's episode, we're going to be going over custom workspaces and how you can customize your After Effects to be how you want it to be. So um, this is the layout that I use. Um, I've moved all the panels to where I want them to be. Um, and mainly I've done this because um, these are the panels that I use most. The ones that you're seeing on here right now, these are the ones that I'm doing most of my work in. And I've put them directly on the interface just so I can always see them and I don't have to go kind of digging for them. Um, and that's something that's going to make your life as an editor a lot easier is being able to find things when you need them. And that's kind of what I've done with this interface. Um, as you can see, I've got my effect controls, uh, preview window obviously, effects and presets, um, just info, that brand preview status, all that stuff, and then my text options right here. And I like my timeline nice and big because I usually edit, um, when, when I usually edit, I usually have a ton of layers because I do a lot of adjustment layers and stuff like that. And I like having this to be huge down here just so I can see a lot of those. So um, the way you make um, your own workspace is you can drag any panel like this and drag it over to another panel and you see these directions right here that kind of corresponds to where you're going to place them so if I drag this put it right there it's, oh, well, well Daryl um, drag this right here to this corner and it'll move it right beside there you can even drag it up to the tab right here and dock it right there just as a tab and you can do that with any of this stuff so I can do it with my effects and presets with my audio with my uh, text options with the timeline render queue anything you want you can move it and customize it how you want it to be additionally you can adjust it by taking these little borders right here and dragging them up and down left and right and once you make your work workspace um, if you want to save it as a preset just come in here and put new workspace and you can name it and everything and I've gone ahead and made another one as well to show you guys um, this is the one I use for making my thumbnails because I've kind of uh, moved over to making thumbnails and after effects just because I suck at Photoshop but this is kind of my version I got brushes and uh, text tools and all that stuff and a few neat tricks about the interface you might have not known if you want to full screen any of these panels so say if I want to get a full screen preview just hit the tilde button on your keyboard while this panel is selected. There you go, we got a full screen view of the panel. And also, if you are missing any panels on here and you want to add some more to the interface, just go up here to the window and they're all right here. And you can uh, check off one of those and it'll appear here. So, if this episode was helpful to you guys, be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you're new. Also, leave some comments down below about any ideas or anything you want me to show you how to do in After Effects. Hope you guys have a great weekend. Later.